Maximising the impact of chemistry research requires high level of collaboration between academia and industry. Sue Saville went to meet scientists at the University of Oxford's Department of Chemistry to see how their spin-out companies and collaborations are contributing to life-changing research. Under the dreaming spires of Oxford, research at the Department of Chemistry has changed the way we live. Discoveries made here led to the development of antibiotics, to glucose sensors for people with diabetes, and to lithium-ion batteries that power our phones and laptops. Innovation is key. The construction of the Chemistry Research Laboratory was funded through a novel scheme, giving investors an equity share in commercial spin-outs, which are managed through the subsidiary Oxford University Innovation. The department here has been extraordinarily successful in setting up spin-out companies, arguably better than any department in any subject anywhere in the world. We've set up maybe 30-odd companies, more than half of the, a dozen of them have gone public. We've contributed probably about 300 million to the university and building a lab at no cost to the university. World-leading research in the Department of Chemistry crosses the borders of traditional disciplines to tackle problems like global health. An early spin-out company, Oxford Nanopore, employs some 400 people and has raised more than £450 million to bring easy biological analysis to anyone, anywhere. This tiny device uh, sequences DNA and um, most devices that sequence DNA are, are really enormous. So this is the first really portable device. It was used to sequence Ebola virus in West Africa. It was used to sequence uh, Zika virus in South America, for example. So that's a huge ad advantage of its um, portability. To equip postgraduates with real-world skills, the department has established a groundbreaking center for doctoral training, where a diverse range of industry partners are brought in, collaborating on the design and delivery of courses and research projects. We've got a unique model where we've agreed with the university and with our industry partners not to patent or protect any of the research that comes out of the programme. So we're a, a genuinely open access programme. Um, that means that we have absolute freedom to collaborate, to go and talk to people about the research we've done and to publish without any restriction. Industry can really see what's happening at the early phases of academia and almost steer it towards like problems that are occurring in industry. But also it allows academia to benefit from the industrial resources and breadth of knowledge. For industry, they can find a lot of benefits through the open access um, facilities that we have in terms of allowing lots of people to get in on an idea and to work on an idea in order to drive innovation. Taking innovation into the real world is part of this department's mission. Take, for example, this typical three-layered metallic airproof packaging for food that's very difficult to recycle. And here they're working to replace it with this thinner coated plastic that's airtight, microwavable and can easily be recycled. In a major collaboration with one of Asia's leading petrochemicals companies, SCG, new products are driven both by pure science and commercial need. We have developed a new materials platform, a whole new family of layered materials, and they have formed a business based around that platform, and they now want to put that into polymers to increase their properties, make them more regenerable, more renewable, more biodegradable. I still, the mad professor, come up with the, uh, what they call disruptive things, and, but yet I still have nice targets. Nice targets are good when they are really well defined and then we can hit the jackpot. For the University of Oxford's Department of Chemistry, the jackpot is both exploring the boundaries of science and spawning commercial companies that make a positive and sustainable impact in the real world.